here with uh, the Black Cat Katleko Kanyisa ahead of his fights against uh, Sipo Mshlangu on ESPN Africa. You back? I'm back, I'm back and glad to be back on the platform again. Uh, thank you Hayden for the opportunity for me to put myself out there again. Man. You're fighting a, a fellow prospect, uh, two former South African amateur champions coming up against each other. What do you think about Sipo? Um, I, I think he's a talented boxer man. Knowing him from the amateur ranks, they were we never met because no one by one we were in different weight divisions and while I was elite he was uh, youth. We probably were in the same uh, ranks at like elite on 2019 but like I said we were different weight divisions but like we know like we know boxing at some point we're gonna come together maybe friends long time friends but it's the sport man and it's just unfortunate that we're meeting at such an early time in our careers but hey it is what it is. It so, is. so funny enough, uh, Kane Fury comes from the same gym and we know that you guys have had some back and forth as well, so maybe that fight's going to happen in the future. You're going to get a taste of uh, Gert Stradum's gym. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, actually, this is not my first taste of Gert Stradum's gym. Remember my first, my debut, my debut was Sean Van Veig. So he lost against me and now this is going to be the second time that they're going to lose against me. And then when I go against Kane for his title, defense, it's going to be a third win, a third, third loss that they're going to go against me. So, so you're quite confident going into this one. I mean, you'll see that uh, he, he had a fight against uh, uh, in Corsi. It was a short notice fight for him. He's got a full camp against you. But um, what did you take out of his last performance? Um, look, I, like I say, I know Sipo from a long time. I, I'm going to know how to deal with him. Uh, I'm, like, everybody knows me that I'm a pressure fighter. I, I come in with this pressure. I come in with the angles. So it's just about, it's just about him seeing if he'll be able to deal with all of that. You know what I mean? But unfortunately, he came from a stoppage, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, it's gonna, let's just hope for his sake it's not uh, a, a deja vu event where he gets stopped again. So, yes, I actually got to correct you. He, he went to points with Nkosi. So, I mean, but, but it was a one sided performance in, in that aspect. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my apologies. It was actually, yeah. He said, I, I made a mistake there. But, but, I thought but, but, I was... but would you be looking to do one up in that scenario? Of course, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm looking to, to give my best performance, and the best performance is the one who gets the stoppage. You know what I mean? So. You're very ambitious. I know you want to move on with your career. You want to sort of move up the ranks really fast and, you know, fight the, the biggest contenders out there. In fact, uh, we have uh, one of the SA champions in the gym today in your weight division. How does that feel? Yeah, I see there's a spider here in the gym. I don't know, maybe he's looking for sparring. If he can get some, maybe we can see a glimpse of how it might be in the future when I go against him, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, uh, I'm glad to be around. Like I'm saying, uh, hot, box, uh, hot box gym is the best gym around. You get the best sparring. And, yeah, I'm glad to be part of the stable. Looking forward to uh, facing Sipo Masango and making my next step to go and see Ken Furi. For that uh, title of defense is promised and then let's get it going let's get it going kane be a man of your word <laughs> and let's talk about espn itself i mean going on that platform again they you know they they put their trust in you to put you on again they they saw your first performance it was a, was a good performance it was a clean a clean unanimous decision um you must be confident in the fact that they confidence in you exactly so yeah i am extremely confident and i'm glad that they're giving me the second chance you know uh looking forward to me to maybe showing up again for before the last end of the year, maybe it's October, November, I'd love to be there again just to showcase what I can do so that I can like get two, three fights in me uh, for this year, then it'll be a good year for me. It'll definitely be a good year for me. So I know you said that you, uh, you, want, you would like a stoppage, but what's your, what's your actual prediction for that for, for this fight? To be honest, Sipo is a quite a talented fighter, man. He, he can move, he can use his distance, he can use his reach. It will be a tough fight. If, if the stoppage comes, it comes but if it doesn't like i say i'm the one that's gonna come out on the top i'm gonna outwork him i'm gonna outclass him it's black cat after all man. it's gonna bring the performance he actually fought a weight division up in his last fights as well that's why he fought in Corsi. so he's probably coming down to his natural weight are you expecting the best version of him in this fight uh, I'd expect him to always bring the best version of himself. Knowing him from amateurs, he was always been the best, man. He wouldn't be two-time SA, uh, SA champion if he wasn't the best or if he wasn't giving his best. So, like I say, all the best to him. And But at the end of the day, we all know that Blackhead is going to come up victorious. It's got to happen. Well, well, what have you improved on? What have you been working on since that last time we saw you? Funny enough, there's something also unmentioned. Uh, we have Shannon in the gym, who is a great addition to the gym. We, uh, we've been working so well together. Uh, he's been helping me with a lot of reaction, reaction time. I've been, I'm, I'm a good pressure fighter, but 
when it comes to counters, I would be like delaying and he'd show me and he'd sharpen me up all on an all round aspect, you know what I mean? So I'm glad to be having Shannon uh, in, in, the, in the stable who's been helping me so much. He's been helping me so much. So here's, a, here's a great story for people at home that don't know. It's going to be Shannon Stratum versus Chad Stratum because Colin Nathan will be out of the country at the time. So uh, it'll be father versus son in this one. Did you did you factor that in here? I did. I did. Actually, I even had a name for the part. I called it the battle of the relationships because it's the relationship between me and Sipo back in the amateur ranks, and then there's the battle of the relationship between Chad Stratum and his son Shannon Stratum. So hey, it's going to be a big rivalry, and it looks like it might just fall forward again into the cane uh, for a fight. So uh, I'm loving the, the looks of the rivalry that is building up around the Black Cat. So there's some backstory for those people at home. Um, should uh, view, when, when viewers tune in, should they support you? Please, they know, they know the Black Cat is the one that comes through and comes through with the nice performances and make sure he leaves the, the fight, leaves everything in the ring. So I'm coming through to, to showcase my talent. I'm coming through to impress. Women's Month, Happy Women's Day to all to all women who will be tuning in, and I'm hearing it's going to be a great, uh, it's going to be a more women dominant uh, bout. So that's that. I'm it's, I'm 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 very proud that ESPN is bringing that platform to give women to show that they can uh, come as equals and do it, do what we do just as great as we do it. So big ups to ESPN on that one. Big ups to my employers, ESPN on that one as well. And uh, do you have a message for Sibo before you guys uh, square off in that ring? Uh, Siponjayam, Riazugutsigunjani, you know how it is. We never, we never, we, we give it our all. We go into the ring and we make sure that we give the best performance so that we can come back again to the show. But uh, give no doubt, I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna batter you up. I'm gonna take, turn you into my favorite peanut butter, black cat, you know. Turn you into soft mush. Just don't make no mistakes, Njayam. It's a, and uh, just lastly from you, any thank yous or shout outs? Uh, I'd like to thank uh, number one ESPN for giving me the, the second opportunity to be on this platform, showcase my talent. My sponsors, the Infall Twins, man, uh, Colin Nathan for always making sure that I'm prepared and I'm on the best uh, platforms uh, and performing at my peak. Shannon, my trainer, my fellow sparring teammates, you know, you, Hayden of SA Boxing Talk, thank you so much. And to the fans, keep supporting me. Thank you so much. And just be best believe it's going to be a great performance coming to your way. Yeah.